A final farewell was held today for a Valley basketball player who was loved by many for his determination and caring attitude. CBS 4's Patrick Xavier has this report. At just 16 years old, Abraham Ibarra's family says he touched the lives of many without even knowing it. This homeless man, you know, he, my brother saw his circumstances as worse than his, you know, and he felt in his heart to, you know, reach out to him, and buy him a meal, um, and, uh, you know, he just, that's just the person my brother was, you know, he had a, a big heart. Abraham was diagnosed with Bergen lymphoma back in June, but lost his battle to cancer on Thursday. However, his older brother, Brandon, says he didn't lose at all. He's no longer feeling any pain or suffering. He's rejoicing in heaven. He's dancing in the sky and singing in the angels' choir right now. He ultimately won. The last several months had been a roller coaster ride for the Ibarra family, but it was his fight and willingness to survive that lifted their spirits. He never let anything get him down, you know, to the very end. He fought to the very end, you know, regardless of the circumstances that he was in, um, which, you know, were not good at all. Um, you know, he was in severe pain daily, and until his very last day, he, he continued to fight. And Abraham played basketball at Veterans Memorial High School, but Saturday, some of the hundreds of community members who attended the junior service included players he had gone face to face with on the hardwood. He inspired a lot of people, you know, and he, he didn't even, he, had, he didn't have the slightest clue, you know, the type of impact that he had on so many lives. Abraham is now remembered on the court he once shined on, a symbol for those who played alongside him. He showed a lot of, a lot of strength uh, going through this and uh, a lot of love and, and, uh, and a lot of perseverance. And, and uh, you know, we just felt it was something that, that would be, that he earned. Less than a week before what would have been his 17th birthday, Brandon reminisces on his final moments with his brother, having one last message for him. He impacted my life more than he could ever imagine. And um, I just love him. Be last thing I'll say. In Mission, Patrick Shalvier, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.